Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. This is Deb Chanel's 40th World with the family as co-hosts. Alrighty, we're getting another interesting article from page six, and a Nikki Ghostin provided this commentary for us, and she titles it, King Charles III allegedly told Harry, or Prince Harry, not to bring his wife, Meghan Markle, to Balmoral, 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 okay. I guess that's the place where she was staying uh, with regard to the last days of her life. Might have been like a little cottage or a castle. Uh, where well they have castles, they don't have cottages. Well, yes, they do have both of them, don't they? But the big people, they live in those uh, castles, okay? Those stone-cold castles. And um, Prince Charles had told at the time he wasn't king, but then maybe he was king. Who knows, okay? He was told by his dad, allegedly, not to bring his wife. Now, what kind of mess is that? And y'all trying to be in uh, unity with one another? Y'all should have had the unified front, whether y'all liked it, Megan, whether, uh, <coughs> or whether you didn't. It shouldn't have been a play for it. Everybody should have been able to attend your foes in the family, as well as your friendly, friendly, friendly friends of the uh, court. They should have been invited to. Because if they were around her when she was living, they should have been around her when she was deceased, okay? Their family. They got married, actually, in England. Can y'all, can you give me a break here? All right, I can't understand why y'all being so petty. Petty, petty, petty boots over there. But anyway, we got King Charles reportedly told Prince Harry that it wasn't right for his wife, Meghan Markle, to come to the Balmora as Queen Elizabeth II was dying okay who early thursday the palace announced that doctors were concerned about the 96 year old health and were putting her under medical supervision mainly they probably put her in a medical con with me, a medical induced coma where she was still living still breathing on her own but um she wasn't in pain okay it's almost like being comatose you're breathing your vitals are stable and you're not in any, any pain. They usually do that with the people they put in hospice care, meaning they're on their way out, okay, going on into another realm of life, and they don't want them to have any pain. So that's what they did to her, okay. In response, members of the royal family rushed to Scotland to be by the monarch's bedside in her final moments. Charles told Harry that it wasn't right or appropriate for Meghan to be in Balmoral at such a deeply sad time, a source told the son. See, I told y'all, girl, Great Britain gonna fall on their asses sooner rather than later. Because they're just not forgiving. They're just not forgiving souls. I ain't gonna say all of them, but the majority of them. You know, they don't want anything modernized to come. So, I don't know what modernization, um... King Charles is going to bring, but I don't think it's going to be nothing. I don't think it's going to, I don't think nothing's really going to change. It's going to be status quo. And they're going to miss out on a lot of love from the grandkids and Harry because they want to keep this division going. Okay? Um, King Charles III allegedly nixed Meghan Markle coming to the Queen's deathbed. A new report claims it was pointed out to him that Kate Middleton was not going to, was not going and that the numbers really should be limited to the very closest family. Okay, now I don't know why Kate didn't show her behind up. 
that was gets me. They want to be showing the very best of the best and showing their good attitudes and their their uh, united front of seeming like they're all happy. They're one big happy family when it's just not the truth. So my thing is, okay, so uh, Prince, I mean, um, the Queen didn't like Kate Middleton either. So you're trying to say the Queen didn't like neither one of your son's wives, Charles? That's not what you're saying. My goodness, in death is still tribulation. Ain't another mess. But anyway, going back to the article, it says the source added that Prince Charles, now King Charles III, made it very, very, very clear Megan would not be welcome. Oh my goodness, I, what did she do? Are you mad because she black? Your son married a black lady? Are you mad because she wanted y'all to modernize things over there? And you all were the ones that can make this change? What's, what's the tea? We want to know, Charles. King Charles. Prince Charles is what we call him over here. Because the mother has not gotten into the grave or in her vault. They're going to put her in the mausoleum. Or what, what are we doing with her? We need to go find that. I might find that out and bring it back to y'all. Where is she going to be buried? Because I just want to know. Because I'm still kind of freaked out that she had stayed in her, her castle in Balmoral. And they had a mortuary there? Because how was they keeping her body preserved? You know, from the smell and stuff. That castle must have been built for everything you know you can uh have a baby in there all the nurses and doctors will be there then they got a mortuary down there too at her castle that's some i don't know what kind of mess they got going on over there but it's an expensive mess if you want to uh see that you know most people don't stay in their houses when they die they go to the mortuary they go to the hospital you know what i'm saying put your own ice into the uh funeral people can come pick you up but you trying to tell me she had a first stage funeral home now too? That she could put the put it all in a cask and everything be cool? Child, I don't even think she in that cask on because they they doing doing too much for me. They moving too fast that my uh mind can catch up with. You know what I'm saying? Cause like how did it just that, that just don't make no sense, y'all. Y'all help me out if y'all know anything about England and how they get down with their deaths, okay? But anyway, going back to the article. It said, as page six previously reported, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were originally planning to travel together to see the Queen. Half an hour later, news broke that Harry would actually be traveling solo. Mm hmm. That ain't gonna be doing nothing for their father's son mending or bonding. That's just gonna push Harry way on out there. But to me, it seems like he just don't get with the royal court and how they have to handle things and how they have to do things. Because I'm still uh, mind-boggled that she died on the 8th, okay? And she ain't going to get buried until the 19th. I mean, who have to come in? Who is flying in? Who is sailing on the ship to um, celebrate the life and death of uh, Queen II? What, what, what are they doing? Shoot. That's too long to be sitting out. What, what, y'all, what kind of rituals y'all got going on over there? But anyway, let me go on back to the story. It says, um, Marco originally planned to travel to Scotland with her husband. But okay. Uh, King Charles, that don't even sound right. I'm so used to calling him Prince. It's hard for me to call him King Charles. But I guess that's how the thing is put in order how they do things in proper order so but anyway the queen's death came just days after the soups alarm gave yet another bombshell interview to the court to the cut in which she criticized the royal family and claimed that just by existing she and harry were upsetting the dynamic of the hierarchy okay so again I, i'm asking people are they just upset because he married a black woman that really don't look like a black woman because she can't pass for white? You know what I'm saying? But without that saying that, or are they mad because she wants them to change their way of viewing how the council and the court should be ruled? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Child. But anyway, going back to the article, it says on Thursday, the BBC long-standing royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell said on air of Marco, she might not be terribly warmly welcome to be perfectly candid about it. Mm-hmm. Tensions were so high 
and there was no way Megan could have gone to Balmora, a highly placed palace inside, told the Post. King Charles attempted to extend an olive branch to the couple during the first public address as the reigning monarch of the UK and Commonwealth on Friday. I want to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas, he said in a pre-recorded video message. Now we know that funk ain't nothing but fiercely funky shit, okay? He is coming with the foolishness, the fuckery, the fraudulent, fakery activity. Yes, the king is coming with the bullshit, all right? You can't, in, in light of everyone, make a speech and say, you really hope your son is doing well and he's building his empire overseas. Does that mean he has no empire to claim over there in Britain? Is that what you're trying to say? Everything just going to go to William and that's going to be given to um, uh, Harry, descendants? Well, I guess not because it's... Will lives to be a good eight or nine years old. His brother gonna be that way too, and the children gonna be as grown as that as well. They're gonna be in their adulthood, young adulthood. So that means, well, really, if you look at it, cause uh, he got uh, how many children William got, y'all? He got two or three, but I do know he have a son up in there, so it has to pass down from William to his son. And Lord, if she come up and have another son. That, no, it ain't, unless all of them get, get killed in a car accident, then it, it braces that print, uh, that um, paradigm. But then you have um, Harry coming up. So yeah, pretty much William and his uh, kids got to be wiped out before Harry can eventually become king. So we know Harry, Harry ain't about no kingship, no courtship, none of that shit. Okay, so it, it plays out real well. Uh, if something happens to William, then his son would take over and it just go down the line like that. So, no, it wasn't a good experience that uh, uh, Harry Truman would have had anything either. So, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that is a good thing. But anyway, that's all we got on this article that Page Six put out for us. They're still in turmoil. They're not building relationships with none of, with either Marco or well, like I got me saying Marco, Megan or Harry. Uh, they don't pretty much ousted them. They, they don't put it out there on social media that they're not. His wife ain't welcome to see his wife die. Uh, they, or she take her last breath. She's not privy to that information. I don't know. Maybe they wanted to put it on TV or something. But one of my family members did say the reason they are, are, are at odds with Megan is because she was trying to film some things of the royal court when she was there. And that was not permissible. So if Megan is doing that, that that's kind of piss poor. You don't come over to the big queen house and try to bring your own uh, film crew in and try to film shit. Now, if you want to do all that with you and uh, your children and Harry, that's fine, okay? But we're not going to come. We're not going to impose on the queen and her family members and how they get down for public consumption. No, what, it's almost like what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's the same way over there in England when you're fooling with the queens and her uh, courtship and all of that. You don't put nothing on camera. I do the putting on camera. I do the what's going to be uh, released to the public to see. No, we're not in Hollywood. No, we're not famous on that stretch of the land. We are about handling our government, making sure our citizens are taken care of. We only caring about that, the political side. Okay, we're not getting into no entertainment, no reality TV series. So I can kind of see if that's what Megan was doing, they would have something uh, negative for her not to be around them. So I, I, I can understand that if that is what Megan was trying to do. And shame on Megan if she was trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever done over there in England and in the courtyard, uh, it needs to stay there. We don't need to know about it because then we'll have opinions and then people be catching feelings and this, that, and the third. But if Charles, King Charles is on the assumption that she was going to bring a camera crew with her and film all this, then yeah, Megan had no uh, right or reason to be there. But you would think, let bygones be bygones. Why do we have to wait till the end of the year on New Year's Eve and try to say, oh, acquaintance be forgotten? Why can't we do it on the spot? If we want that person to be a part of our lives, 
and for our children's children to be able to play with one another. Ah, but I guess it's just one of those things. Just one of those things in family. Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I thought it was very interesting to bring that up. That Prince Charles would say something that, uh, that inhumane. But if he has a reason why he's doing it, then, you know, let that will be done. Okay. Let that will be done. But he has to be respectful. Meaning, uh, Harry has to be respectful to what his dad is telling him about his dad's mother. Okay, because that is his mother. And that's this, his grandmother, but that's his mother first. So he's going to always be, I guess, protective in that way of her. And not showing, you know, any disrespect or disloyalty. Even while she's not in this plane of resistance anymore. So I get it. Got it good. And that's all I got for this video. Bye.